hi welcome back to my channel it's me Ivana Burke and I'm back just with a quick video I definitely want to get back on my mini review game I have so many things to review it's ridiculous but I'm starting with something I used the other night this is Maui moisture detoxifying volcanic ash scalp care mask this is for dull and congested hair I use this um, just the day before I don't really have any other product in here except for just like a leave-in um, and this is obviously a mask so you wash it out basically it's for when you have product build up and your hair is just not looking its best um frankly i have really bad dandruff around this time of the year my scalp gets super 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 dry it gets built up because if my scalp gets dry then i just put oil on it because that's just kind of how i was taught and then it all weighs itself down eventually and it just it just becomes a mess some exfoliating masks are very like exfoliating like it's all about like the beads and the whatnot like that this is a fully cream mask so don't get it confused there's nothing actually rough about it which i personally really like that kind of exfoliation does kind of scare me so i shampoo with my regular shampoo i put this in for about five minutes on my i take it root to tip because um i would say this is depending on how you style your hair i style my hair i put product all through my hair all like, root to tip pretty much so if you're putting gel in the shaft of your hair i would definitely recommend just taking it all the way down this isn't going to dry your hair out but yeah then you want to leave it in for five minutes and then go in with your regular conditioner a deep conditioner whatever you want to do i use my regular conditioner and my hair turned out fine just moisturized and soft so i didn't see a need to put in a deep conditioner after this this isn't going to be like your benonite clay mask or anything like that is definitely a softer version of that so the ingredients of course if you're new to Maui moisture you probably don't know but Maui moisture is known for their first ingredient for the most part always being aloe leaf juice which is really moisturizing instead of just water it does kind of retain a little more um hydration into your hair um then they also have coconut oil, coconut water in it, shea butter, and then comes that salicylic acid, also lactic acid. It's actually good for dandruff. I was kind of surprised to see something. That's why I immediately went and looked up. I was like, salicylic acid for hair? Yeah, I've just never heard of that. Um, but it, I mean, it works. I'm really impressed with it. So it does soften the like scaliness of you know your dandruff. So it's easier for you to lift it up when you are like washing it out. Um, it also has kaolin clay which removes oil product buildup and dead skin and then the lactic acid will maintain your ph but it does say to use sparingly and there's also the whole reason they have this like it's volcanic ash you know that is in there volcanic ash which if you look it up it does say it can be very abrasive if not properly formulated with other ingredients so never use volcanic ash just on your hair it's insane um but that the volcanic ash and the lactic acid is what makes me just kind of think this is something you should use sparingly i don't even know how often it says to use it yeah it doesn't tell you how often to use it but i would definitely only use this like at most every other week and that's if you use a lot of product so i do think it is well formulated for you know the abrasive products that are in here um and so it does add that buffer to your hair so i wouldn't be too afraid of those ingredients especially if you do have scalp issues product buildup oil anything like that this is going to help you more so than hurt you um but yeah definitely don't use it daily don't do that mm -mm this i've seen this online for like eight dollars to ten dollars i've also seen it on some crazy sites for like 16 don't do that either as far as the pros and cons to this mask it does do a very good job as far as like giving you that refresh um like my scalp feels really good it's not itchy anymore it's the next couple days it's been two days i guess since i've washed my hair with this so it does feel quite good at this point lightly i would be a scratching and it would not be cute. End of the day, it can be a little bit heavy and wear your hair down, which is it sounds counterintuitive, but at the same time, it's like I do get a lot of curl definition out of this. My strands are really revitalized and like look, they're just so much bouncier. I'll insert a picture of what my hair looks like before um, using the same styling method, if not a more intense styling method. Like this is just finger coiled a little bit. The other one was like full on braid out overnight and it still like just wasn't hitting. And like that's when you use this mask is when your hair just isn't hitting anymore. 
Um, I do think this is perfect for resetting your hair. I think it's a good alternative to doing a bit of night mask. And I'm really impressed with it. I think Maui did a really good job formulating this. I would repurchase it and um, I am more open now to try more detoxifying things because now I know it does work for my hair type and it does um, you know provide me with those benefits and on top of that my hair smells so good usually my hair will smell good the first day maybe the second but for it to be third day hair and my hair smells this good like I, I boop and I smell it I'm like ooh. All right, I hope this was really helpful for you guys. If you guys have used this mask, let me know your thoughts. If it worked for you, I want to know. I do have very fine hair, so there is certain things that just work a little differently for me than others, and I would just like to see if you guys used it and what you thought. Uh, and that, let me know what you think of this video. Let me know what you guys want to try next, what you want to see from me. I have a lot more hair videos coming very soon. Um, and that, I will see you in my next video. If you like this video, don't forget to leave it a like. If you liked me, don't forget to subscribe. If you want to see more of me, you can always check me out on my Instagram. I'm blocked right now, but when I come back, it'll be popping. And in that, I hope this video found you in the best place possible. And I will see you in my next one. Bye.